Bailey, Mark. Wow. Okay. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Uh, let's just talk. start talking about Caesar and the mentality. I mean, okay. what do you go through to get ready to play a character like that? I based Caesar on a, on a real-life chimp called Oliver, who was, in the 1970s, he was known as the Humanzi. He was believed to be the progeny of man and ape, and there were a lot of DNA experiments carried out to find out whether this was true. But Caesar has this, um, this conflict. I always played Caesar as a, a, a human in ape skin an outsider, someone who didn't know who he was, he didn't have a lack of identity. And he is conflicted in the sense that when, when the humans turn up on the scene again, he has empathy for them, he feels for them, he knows they're trying to struggle to survive. And he has to be able to convey that to the other apes in a way that doesn't expose himself. Caesar love humans more than apes. I want to talk about the voice. Where does that come from, the voice for Caesar? Where do you draw from that? Caesar's voice comes from um, from the chest through pushing up air through the larynx. So, so for instance, it kind of... It comes from that sound, which then would become... You know, uh, and forming words. And then I used to wear um, a, a mouth guard to stop my tongue from hitting the back of my teeth so that it didn't fully form properly. They're giving me the rap, but I gotta throw this in there. How's Star Wars going? It's going very well, thank you very much. Boy, you're a politician if I ever saw one. <laughs> good job, bro. Thank Seriously, you. good Thanks job. A lot.